Well, you just heard former University of Colorado professor Ward Churchill standing by his comments about the 9-11 victims. A disturbing window into the thinking that festers on certain college campuses in America to this day. In this part of our exclusive interview with the professor, he discusses the terrorists who murdered nearly 3,000 Americans. And wait until you hear the difference in tone. Watch. You thought that the dead Americans were just like the Nazis. However, you had nothing but praise for the 9-11 hijackers. You called them courageous, even gallant. Mm -hmm. Gallant? Mm -hmm. Al-Qaeda? The, the guys who flew those, mm -hmm. those jets into the Twin Trade Centers? Yeah, now if you ask me, do I actually believe that or do I believe that I'm still making the point? This is what it feels like when people who are sitting at computer consoles 1,500 miles away firing cruise missiles into your cities are called heroes. That, you're talking about firing, our, I know you're yeah, talking about our I'm military now. You have nothing but disdain The whole them, thing was that. an exercise in how does it feel when it is done to you and it is defined, extrapolated, explained, crowed about in exactly the same kind of terms that the United States does mm -hmm. continuously with regard to the infliction of comparable damage on other but people you understand, elsewhere. You understand that al-Qaeda routinely kills civilians. This group, ISIS, routinely c kills civilians. Are you and asking me if I am a supporter of al-Qaeda? You certainly sound like you like them. No, I They're sound courageous. like a Pentagon briefer they doing the, the record in reverse is exactly what They're I sound gallant. like. Yeah. And then you went on to say, and I quote, honest interrogators might ask, why did it take them so long to arrive? And why under the circumstances did they conduct themselves with such obvious and admirable Restraint. Yeah. I mean, Professor, our viewers are going to hear that and think that you're a lunatic. Yeah, exactly. Like most of the rest of the world, here's the stuff that's coming out from the United States official sources and media pundits and thinks we're lunatics, homicidal lunatics. You feel for the the plight of these civilians who the American military has, has killed. Many would argue inadvertently. You argue always intentionally. You, but you yourself poured well, pour, you yourself poured salt in the wounds of the victims of 9/11 and their families. So how can you claim the moral high ground when it comes to causing pain, causing destruction, when you, at the most vulnerable moment, did the very same thing to them? Which is exactly the point. Again, this is done day in, day out. You're pointing to somebody else. I'm talking about you, Professor. Take responsibility for your own actions. My responsibility is to do exactly what I did, which is show you what it feels like. And if you're too dense to get it, okay. But I would assume me, that there are people you, out there who be, are not, including some of the uh, victims' family members. Did, I might add. What? Which, what about them? I got communications from them, and I also have them on file saying, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, I'm sure they think you're a peach. Did you have to be so glib about it? Did it you wasn't have to a personal so thing. They don't think I'm a peach. Maybe they do. I wouldn't know. What they did was understand the point. Did you have to be so glib about it? Did I don't you know. You might so ask callous. Norman Schwarzkopf. I'm presenting Again, in the same face. It happens. Deflecting. That is exactly the answer. Will you apologize to no. anyone? Tomorrow, he answers the ultimate question about the current threats to America. Don't miss it.